I was a little early for that, but oh, they didn't quite get the high, but damn it, <laughs> they got the e part of it. <laughs> I don't think they even got that. Oh, they just got dead. They got silent. they got all of those ones though. Nice. Okay. <laughs> um, Merry Christmas. All right. Merry crisis. Starts barking. <laughs> Welcome back to what? the to the desert of the real. Uh, sorry about the um. Tech issues there. I have no clue what's happening, but it seems like it's okay now. Um, Someone who streams will know. Yeah, surely somebody who streams will know. Um, I don't do that, so I wouldn't know. Nope. Um, you don't. We're we're back with more seas of sand and uh, more background typing noises. Um, I'm sorry. <clears throat> a classic, classic <laughs> sound. Um, so. Uh, yeah, it feels like it's been 17 years, but uh, I know. Have we back. streamed since the new year? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we did that one Happy session that was shorter, and that was it. Um, Merry yeah, Christmas. Sure we did. Okay, so it's a saying yes. But we are back now. Um, yeah. Dragon Craze can confirm that that that's a no. Um, so we'll just listen to Dragon Craze. I don't know. Dragon Craze, I don't know who you are, but hi. Oh, you're one of the new ones, right? Uh, yes, uh, one of the, the newer editions. Hi. The yeah, I don't know. We had something on the second, didn't we? So it's, I feel like we did. No, that's when we all had COVID. Yeah. We still did a shorter stream. I'm sorry, all? Not all. Okay, that's when. It was literally just uh, <laughs> Ezekiel, <laughs> actually. Wait, oh, well. yeah. Olivia thought she did. I don't remember when we did the shorter session, but uh, we're back now. Um, bookkeeping to do. Um, I've talked a little bit about how we're going to do the, uh, the 100 follower milestone stream. Um, that's still coming up. Uh, we did a poll in the Discord. If you haven't voted on that and you're listening to this right go now, vote. go vote on that. Um, <laughs> go I, think vote. It's, I think it's still active. I haven't checked, but if, <laughs> if it's still active, I don't go know vote. that it is, actually. Um, <laughs> I have not checked. Um, yes, welcome back to the Pancake Show. Um, in, in regards to the milestone stream, um, I was trying to get it done and ready for, well, yesterday. Um, but when it rolled around yesterday, I was like, ah, I can, I can improve things if I give it more time. So, um, it'll probably be, uh, the coming Saturday, like next Saturday. Um, since that is the day that is winning so far. Um, so, uh, yeah, we will... We will have that occur. Um, it's going to be interesting. There's uh, a lot of new things. I've been overhauling the world anvil. Oh, lovely. So if you see things that are kind of strange on the world anvil, um, that's why. Don't read I too much really into it yet. Ezekiel's a knoll. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I'll find out in this episode of Season huh? Oh, um, Jason, I'm like a reverse furry where I'm like wearing a skin suit instead of wearing a furry suit. I wish you would stop talking I hate forever. That so much. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, so that'll be this coming Saturday, um, unless anything comes up. But uh, it should be all done by then. Lots of overhauls to the World Anvil, a lot of new stuff, um, four new factions, um, all sorts of things. Uh, and I've made additions already to actually some of the pages, so if you're uh, a very ambitious uh, snoop, then you can go and uh, check that, some of those out already, because <laughs> um, there's already some changes that have been made. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's what's occurring with that. Um, Saturday's winning right now, so uh, it'll probably be on Saturday. As for uh, the rest of the bookkeeping, I think we're all good. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's get back into things. Uh, season seven. Oh yeah, I forgot to add. I forgot to add it to this stream. Let me let me do that. Add what? Huh? What do we yeah, add? Let's do it. What do we add? Alright, somebody type in chat. 
so we can test that it works before we go to the other screen. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Oh, hello. Perfect. Oh, got to add it that's to this one. so delightful. Alrighty. That's a joy. Uh, so, uh, getting back into it, previously on Caesar Sin, the party is making their way through the uh, Imhara Desert, uh, acting as bodyguards for a perfume merchant named Leandro. Uh, but actually working for the Merchant Prince, um, a very wealthy uh, aristocrat of the desert city of Al-Zahar, who has noticed that his, uh, his caravans are being attacked in a rather coordinated effort as of late. Uh, and he wants to know why and find out uh, who's doing it. So, uh, the party have been hired for that purpose, uh, as they escort Leandro north through the desert to... Um, the Kasana Oasis, a small little settlement in the middle of the Amhara. Uh, so they've completed most of their journey now. Uh, they're only about a day's out now. So, but uh, as they were drawing close to the Oasis, uh, in the dead of night, they were attacked by a group of gnolls, uh, hyena people. Uh, and so, after fighting them off with uh, relative amounts of success, um, and Ezekim being relatively wounded, uh, they, they survived the ambush and uh, managed to find uh, a few things on the, the knolls, uh, most important of which was an old uh, scrap of parchment that had a rather rough-looking drawing on it of uh, a symbol, a symbol that they recognized to be uh, the very same symbol that the necklace that Elizabeth wears, uh, Elizabeth being uh, an archaeologist who is accompanying the party in their caravan. Uh, so the party was slightly confused by that, and uh, we'll have to uh, perhaps try to figure out more involving that. Um, but they proceeded to go off to sleep as it was <laughs> rather late and they were rather wounded. Um, with the intention of continuing their travels to Kasana over the next day. Um, was there anything else super important that happened during that that half session? Other than Ezzy dying a few times? I don't think. Uh, Lunette got five million gold. Valbella mm -hmm. Captain America at her shield. <laughs> um, that is true. Or was it your, was was your morning cool. star? I forget. No, it was your no, it was my shield. Oh my god. Yeah, because why would it be a Captain America joke if it wasn't? I can tell you one thing that is not Al. I feel like I remember. Uh, I feel like I remember <laughs> us talking about Captain America. In Thank it, you. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. that. <laughs> it was. It was a good. A good shield. It was good. All right. It's very good. That um, was the only one that vaguely saw it in person. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the most important thing was uh, the scrap of parchment with the symbol on it. Uh, which yeah, I and also the oh, thousands of gold that we... Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. made so that joke. <laughs> you can't take I'm that from me. Backing up your joke. <laughs> we also... Lunette found... I said a million. Gold, and then we also found gold. And right, then okay. I... Found we gold. as in not Lunette. <laughs> Let's actually... I'm going to add the chat to the screen too. Why not? <laughs> yeah, get him in on this. Also, I'm so sorry. I have my noise suppression on, but chat and also everyone in this call. So sorry if you can hear my father yelling. He's watching football right now. <laughs> They're all like he's that. really he's really into football, guys. No, he's really into football. <laughs> is this a bald one? Those yes, just, it is the bald one. Those They're just, both bald. Those are just hallucinations that occur in the desert. Uh, well, I mean, we not break also... immersion. That's what it is. You just occasionally <laughs> hear somebody screaming, and it's because we're like, had to oh yeah, guys. That's exactly why. Right, yeah, somebody, there's just a knoll in, in the distance. Somebody talking chats so that I can uh, size this better. See if it's too small or too big. Uh, oh damn it! Beat you to it. Izzy beat me. It was me. That's my... oh, I didn't. I didn't mean Izzy. I meant. I meant you. <laughs> Say, I did not actually. How dare no, you not you recognize can't. my Twitter handle? I did not. Or, see not my Valkyrie. Twitter. My Twitch handle. Oh my my Twitter handle is not this. 
leaked Twitter. No way. Twitter? <laughs> I would never leak my Twitter, ever. I'll leak your Twitter right now. No! That's not bad. <laughs> I'll do it too! <laughs> Okay. Everyone knows. Leave it like that for now. Alrighty. So, uh, I just want to show everybody. Here we go. Uh, for reference, here you go. There's that symbol that we all saw um, nice. on Elizabeth necklace and on the uh, drawing that was found in one of the Knowles pockets. Uh, and there we go. So, uh, getting back into things, you all uh, settled in for the night. Uh, some of you passing out a little earlier than others from uh, your wounds. But uh, <laughs> eventually everyone drifts off back to sleep for a few more hours as Cecilio takes watch. Thank God. Um, Question. So Do yeah, we get ahead. a long rest for that? Even yeah, yeah, though we yeah, yeah. were interrupted? Please. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second question. Do we level up? Hey, no asking. No. <laughs> Please. I'm gonna ask Every time you one. ask, it takes longer. <laughs> I don't <laughs> care. Yes. You think I care? Yeah, I did that have two or three combats? I did that on purpose. Yeah, but it's milestone. I know, I know, I know. XP. I know that it's milestone, but I feel like two or three combats is pretty milestone-worthy. It's, it's balanced for the encounters that I have. Not oh, for, okay. Not for your okay. own your Jay own knows what's going. Okay. When, when you need he to does. level up so that you don't instantly die, then you will level up. Okay. So All that's right. basically how the mouse system works. Jay, what if I keep asking? you certain things in the story, then you level up. What if I keep asking so we never level up? <laughs> Why would you do yeah, that? Every time you ask, I add an extra, <laughs> and add an extra session until you level up. All right. Currently, we're at about 40 <laughs> sessions from now. 40 <laughs> sessions from now, we'll level up. Jay, how many sessions do you... Never mind. I'm not going to ask that because I don't want to know the answer. How many do I plan? I don't plan at all. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I just kind of let things happen. I write the general right. structure so that I kind of understand where things might go, and then I just let things happen and see how, how I have to adapt from there on. Tune in next time I like how on you didn't even finish 234. Your... Well, listen, you didn't even finish your science, and he was like, yeah, I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> I was just He's... curious. That He's was just got my divination magic. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm a divination wizard up there. Oh, no, wait. What can you hear, be honest? <laughs> what are you trying to hide? <laughs> I should start working be portent more honest. into my DM abilities. Can the DM have portent? Is that, is that, can, hey chat. Can I think DM that's called portent? fudging. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll make it a thing. What if I made that channel points? So they could give me portent. Oh, By spending a certain amount of, amount of channel points, they can just give me the ability to roll some portent rolls. That would be good. <laughs> That's right? so That's much scary. power. You already but, wield but, the power oh, of the But universe. to balance it, we could give them the ability to give you guys inspiration. Oh, that would be, oh, that that would be nice. Not just birthday inspiration. Yeah, that, that would be nice. nice. I'm gonna they wait, wish, do they I would... get birthday inspiration? Oh, yeah, it was Phoenix's birthday, birthday on Friday. On Friday. Uh, on Friday. 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 Yeah. Friday but it was like a big one because I'm like 18 or something. I, uh, oh, I my usually, God. I usually do it if it's <laughs> only, if only if the session yeah. falls on the birthday. Um, but since I've, I think I've stretched that for other people, I feel bad not stretching that for you. Um, you didn't stretch it for me. I know, no, but I stretched didn't. it for other people. This is <laughs> Luna so might I... might still have her. <laughs> I don't even know. No, no, I used it. Oh yeah, I you did use I it. Used it. <laughs> um, that's true. You did use it. Everyone, give Ezekiel uh, the inspiration. Make a, pers magic. make a persuasion roll for me, and I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> no, that's what he knows. That's what he did for me. He's so evil. I'm no, gonna... he did that for me. All right. Wait. Um. I'm looking. Wait. Wait. I have a plus three to persuasion. I can do no. it for you. Nope. It's I have a plus four. Okay. Well, <laughs> what? No, it, it I'm doing it doesn't work like that. Fun. You gotta. You gotta do. You seventeen. Know. No, I'm. 17? Oh, it's gotta be flat. I got seventeen. Uh, yeah, seventeen will do it. Do you want this session or next session? Uh, this session. Okay, then uh, make sure you use it. You have to use it. Wait, hold, wait. Next session, never mind. Next session. Next session? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Since you've already, we yeah. already know. He wouldn't that give us. <laughs> he wouldn't give us combat back to that. Exactly, that's exactly um, what I was He saying. would. He would. All right. He would. So, getting into things. 
Um, Playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the party eventually at the, uh, the break of dawn awakes and, um, the sun begins to rise over the Imhara desert once more, quickly bringing up the temperature from the freezing cold of night back into the sweltering daytime heat. <laughs> there we go. Click. Uh, God turns on the light switch. <laughs> And uh, now you may uh, arise from your your slumber, feeling a, a little bit more beat up than you usually would after uh, a nice long rest, but uh, still uh, healed from your your injuries. Uh, so you can make sure that everybody does their their long rest, getting anything back that you need to gain back. And, Tell me uh, you can hear my dad. Please. No, Please I didn't don't. hear anything. No, oh, no. Okay. it's just been dead silence. Um, okay. All right. Uh, so everybody make sure you did your long rest on your character sheets. Yep. And uh, each of you yeah. eventually, um, I don't know when uh, you guys feel you would wake up, but eventually you all do. <sighs> oh, goodness gracious. Uh, and the camp begins to move again as uh, the others all rise, wiping uh, sleep from their eyes. And Ezekiel never wakes up. Making their way He's back dead. into the quickly warming <laughs> desert. Sleeping so soundly. He's dead for real. <laughs> Here you go. I leave it. You from me slumber. No. Oh. <laughs> I like uh, the pile of just like dead knolls in the corner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like why? Why are they like that? Because I moved them out of the way because they were in my way. <laughs> Suddenly, all of the corpses made a stack. Crazy. <laughs> what well, is it with our party like, of stacking in bodies? Here, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> but <laughs> I thought maybe you didn't want to sleep next to them, so. Maybe we did. We went maybe to we did, the yeah. Power of, um, OMG, they're TP. Someone spin them. All right. <laughs> so, um, Leandro begins to. Uh, set things up again for the day, uh, loading back the equipment onto Pancake as you uh, all start your day. Uh, and as you kind of each meander your way out of the tent, he just kind of greets you all. Uh, good morning, good morning. And uh, are we ready to go now? Uh, anything else we need to do before we set out? Uh, we should be close to Kasana. Uh, hopefully, if the weather is good, we'll make it today. Uh, I suppose uh, telling the merchant prince about the knolls can wait then. Uh, all right, very well. Uh, we'll have plenty of time once we reach the oasis. Oh, perfect. Uh, so he begins to load things up onto um, Pancake, grabbing uh, tents and setting them up. And... Uh, or rather, uh, I'm setting up the tents and putting them away on uh, the side of Pancake's big, uh, big packs. Uh, Pancake's big day. Put that one away. <laughs> uh, and after everything is uh, finished with the, uh, the setup, then uh, just sort of waits for you all to be ready. I'm definitely very in character and not yawning in real life. Oh no, I definitely uh, am yawning in real life. <laughs> you guys need to stop yawning. Okay. I'm no. going to start yawning. <laughs> I hope you do. No. Um, make sure you uh, adjust that health because I'm probably going to copy the whole group. Uh, and so slowly over the course of the morning, the caravan reassembles, ready to continue the journey north. Uh, so unless you guys have anything you want to do, then you can set out again for the day. We leave the big tent just sitting there. Yep, <laughs> we'll never exactly. need it. Yep, 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 yep. We, need it right <laughs> we, we don't take it with us. Imagination. <laughs> <laughs> no it's way. called Jay didn't feel like making two versions of the same map but one with well, the tent <laughs> yeah because there's already two versions there's a daytime and a night one, nighttime one and I have sort of the, the modular tent that I use for the small ones but you guys have a big tent so I don't really have Why one to represent why are we so that. big 
Wait, are we the same size? I feel like Lunette's bigger. Maybe just because Lunette's off the map. Off the grid, yeah. Am I off the grid? You were. I just fixed you. Oh. That's weird. I wasn't even holding alt when I moved myself. Alright. Um, so, unless anybody has anything to do before you set off again for the day. I'll take that as a no. No. Dead silence. Always a no. Why can't you all talk? Why do I have to do it? Because <laughs> right. uh, I'm busy uh, being clean. No, no, then uh, I will copy you all. Uh, let me double check the weather for today. No way. For a second, I literally no. thought he was going to check and the, now, like, the actual weather. Cut away to Charlemagne <laughs> for the weather. <laughs> <laughs> He's got, like, he does like he does like a Vanna White. He's like today's weather. Guys, great news! It's snowing in the desert. Sunny with a chance of sandstorms today in the Imhara <laughs> Desert. Oh, oh shit! Uh, no, no sandstorm. Weather is clear today. All right. Fantastic. Thank God. The last time they weren't, we got an accident to do us. <laughs> One of one of Fair us enough. passed out from exhaustion. <laughs> what? Nah. That's fine. Uh, and so, as you set out, uh, leaving the small makeshift camp that you made behind and continuing off to the north, uh, you travel for several hours through the desert. Uh, today, it's not uh, nearly as sweltering as it was when you met that uh, undead elephant. Uh, and instead, it is a little bit cooler. And so you make pretty good time today. Not having to pause to... Uh, to drink some of the water that you have on you nearly as often and eventually you... as you what were you gonna say sorry i thought i, was... I thought you were just gonna stop at not drinking water and i was like oh, <laughs> excuse me do we yeah, not have water <laughs> yeah none of you decide to drink water today i decided that i'm the gm <laughs> and so you're all I dehydrated mean... everybody takes Where's... seven points of exhaustion and you all die don't camels <laughs> store water in their humps anyway <laughs> yeah just grab a straw <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Anyway. Worst thing ever said, I think. <laughs> no, uh, compared to some of the things that you guys have said, I, I can confirm yeah. that to be untrue. Yeah. No, you're crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> um, okay, so, what do you know? <laughs> so, uh, as you uh, travel um, well past midday in the desert heat, who is typing? It's Luna. It's always no. Lunette. It's, de it's definitely not. What are you it's typing? I don't, there's no typing in the chat. What are you guys Lunette. typing? I'm typing. To, I'm typing to a friend. I see. I'm telling well, them a funny story. Just be aware that we can, in fact, hear it. I'm sorry. Screen. I can't make my keyboard any quieter. <laughs> okay. Um. So as you uh, travel well past midday into the desert, uh, eventually you you uh, crest the the hill of several large sand dunes and you can see far off into the distance uh now that there's no sandstorm today uh far off along the horizon uh wavering slightly in the heat you can see these large sort of rock formations out in the distance uh so somebody make a perception roll for me okay who has the highest um i have plus three Oh. And I just rolled a seven. Okay. I also have plus nice. Mine's a plus one. Yeah, seventeen. All right. Um. So as you guys walk kind of towards this, um, this large rock formation, in the distance, uh, Ezekiel, you're the first one to notice. But uh, though it wavers in the heat, you have a, a general sense that you think this is definitely not a mirage. Um, and as you begin to to, gra to get a little closer to it, uh, kind of heading down these sand dunes and off towards it, um, you begin to see palm trees dotted throughout uh, in between gaps in the rocks and further on beyond them. You start to see green, which you feel like you might not have seen for quite some time, uh, perhaps since the uh, the cacti earlier. The incident. <laughs> the incident. There's no cacti. <laughs> there are no cacti in Bossing Say. <laughs> uh, and so the uh, the rock formation is quite some distance away, and it'll take you at least a couple hours to get to it. But um, as you begin to draw closer and closer, you begin to see these palm trees springing up 
in the distance. And soon, eventually, as you uh, all begin to approach it, the rest of you begin to see these palm trees as well. Oh. Uh, and eventually you see Leandra, who is sort of out in front leading uh, Pancake, turn back towards you all and say, uh, it should be less than an hour now. Uh, right there in the distance. You can see it, yes? Oh, thank yeah. goodness. Damn, already. <laughs> Feels like we've been here for months. Already? <laughs> Realistically, how many days has it um been? been... Because I I think that I forgot. Isn't it literally that, um, like a week? Case, but... Yeah, hasn't it been like a week? It's been a little over that. I guess I had pretty good weather, so you made better time than uh, what was told to you at the beginning. But yeah, because they were like it would take like two weeks, but right? yeah. All right. Uh, so that's the wrong map. <laughs> he puts us in map. hell. <laughs> uh, you guys didn't see it, but chat did. No. But it wasn't a very impressive map, so it's all good. Chat, what was it? Tell us. It was, uh, no spoilers <laughs> at all, really. It was just a different desert. Um, alrighty. Uh, so, you spend the rest of this day, um, or, well, another chunk of this day traveling towards uh, this large rock formation, eventually arriving at the base of these massive rock formations, where uh, some of the kind of shifting sand around you eventually turns closer to uh, a dry, cracked dirt. Uh, and you can see the greenery now in between these rocks as a path between two rather large, almost cliff faces stretches out before you. Yeah. I want a rock cat really, really badly. <laughs> oh, I do. I think rock cats would be in this area. Cute. No, they wouldn't, but I'm just thinking about them. And so as you begin to travel kind of towards this, this path in between the rocks, uh, you hear off in the distance, uh, before you even spot the, the figure, you hear somebody yelling, Caravan approaching! Uh, just sort of echoing in between these rocks. And then you spy, kind of squinting off in the distance, uh, a figure standing alone, uh, kind of at the base of one of these cliffs. Is he just talking? Is he, is he yelling himself? <laughs> that would be really funny, I <laughs> He's think. He's just standing by himself like, All right, guys, I saw another one! <laughs> I'm making my pay for the day! He's got, like, like little He's notches, so lonely. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's like, another day. Through. Oh, he has to, he's been banished to stand out there by himself. <laughs> His the, only... like the lighthouse. Can you shut up? I'm <laughs> gonna actually seconds. kill you. Like I'm gonna actually kill you. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna just actually do it. God damn. I regret so, uh, inviting you. As you continue to uh make your way north uh, you travel in this sort of uh pass in between the, the rock formations approaching this this solitary figure and the closer you get you begin to see the the pass open up into this larger kind of bowl that makes up the center of uh these large rock formations uh, let me bring you there typey 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 so much typey <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry it's so loud. Just turn up your noise. It is very loud, yeah. It, yeah. Or mute it when you type. It is, unironically, the exact same volume as somebody talking when I look at my mix. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Really? yeah. It's, it's very, very loud. loud. It is very loud. It is as loud as when you so type. Maybe, I don't know why my microphone likes keyboards so much. Maybe toggle a mute if you're gonna if you're gonna type while we're Yeah, while we're I'll fine. stop. I'll stop. Um, Alright, so, to bring you into the... Uh, Oasis, just give me one second. Dude, dude. Let's uh, let's go. This is such a, a fun time, guys. I'm having a great. Time. I'm having a great time. Uh, ironically, great time. over here. So, 
Uh, you make your way in between this this pass in between the stones that uh, kind of guard Kasana Oasis. And eventually you can see kind of nestled in the center, uh, this large patch of grass that rings around a lake almost in the center of this. Uh, and you can see palm trees growing all around the lake. Um, and the buildings of Kasana Oasis, as you look off to your, your left and right, are sort of nestled into the side of this cliff. Um, the rocks sort of protect Kasana Oasis from the external environment, and within it is this lush vegetation. Uh, and so as you approach, we can still hear the typing, as you approach, um, <laughs> you see the figure that was calling out in the distance. Um, and you begin to get a little bit closer, and you notice that they are not, in fact, human. Uh, they appear to be a minotaur, though rather young, as uh, their horns have not quite grown to full size, and they're rather st small in uh, stature and build. Haha, <laughs> bitch boy, bitch boy. <laughs> hey, don't be mean. <laughs> yeah, that was really funny when you guys were being mean to this person, because I knew who it was. Um, Wait, who is that? And so uh, the Minotaur kind of very excitedly walks up to you guys as you um, make your way into the Oasis and just kind of almost uh, trots their way around uh, Pancake, uh, looking for sort of who's in charge uh, and settling on you, Cecilia. Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> since you're closest. <laughs> and just says... Wrong person. Wrong person. <laughs> says, uh, hello there. Welcome to Kasana Oasis. Uh, do you need help unloading anything? Thanks. You should probably talk to him, and I'm pointing at Leon. Oh, He's yes. the merchant telling us what to do. Hmm. Well, all right. Uh, and he kind of trots quickly over to Leon Joe, and you hear the two of them begin to talk. Um, the young Minotaur offering to help uh, unload all of the heavy supplies from uh, your caravan here. Um, he claims to be from a, uh, a company called Steelhorns Manual Labor. Um, and is uh, very excitedly attempting to uh, gain business from Leandro. So cute. Um, and Leandro kind of talks with him for a few moments and then actually looks over towards the rest of you, uh, particularly Valbella, uh, and says, uh, uh, What do you think? Uh, do you guys want to. Do you have business that you need to take care of, or uh, are you going to help unpack? Why me? <laughs> You're the biggest. You're the buffer. <laughs> You're the buff one. <laughs> Literally ten feet tall. Why are you asking me to do manual labor? Why do I have to do labor? Oh, um, no, I can help. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have any. No. Uh, all right, lad. Then uh, I'm afraid we don't have any business for you today. Uh, he says to the the minotaur, who looks a little bit dejected. <laughs> says, Not so uh, bad. He uh, can uh, help. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Uh, not... You want us to to. Pay the, the Minotaur to help us then? I almost well, feel yeah, bad sure. if we don't. I do not want that. to pay. <laughs> no, he's. It's like letting the guy wash your windshield. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, but, sometimes yeah. you just feel bad for them. Uh, tell you what, lad, uh, we've got it sorted for uh, unpacking, but if we need to pack everything up, then maybe we'll call you. How does that sound? I'm, I'm gonna like gently pull Leandra over. I almost feel kind of bad if we don't let him. Uh, well, <laughs> this is why you're not a successful merchant, Valbella. <laughs> this is why I'm not a merchant at all, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Valbella, if you want to let him help, you can pay him from your pocket. That's that's kind of what I planned. To do. <laughs> Damn, that's what I'm doing. Your business. Uh, if you want, if you want the Minotaur to help, then yeah, you can pay out of your own pockets. But uh, Leandro seems to understand it? that this is maybe a bit of a grill. <gasps> oh, how maybe, dare you, okay. Jay? <laughs> how dare you? Brother. Well, it's you a grift when you have like seven people to unload for you. Yeah. This is so okay. dead. No, I've got Changing Naraka's backstory to make her like a swindler or something. Uh, this is Yay, not Naraka. Coach is not this the is only rent. one. This is not wait, Naraka. Wait, wait, she's a swindler? <laughs> name is Swinton. This is Renton. Renton, I see. Um, Unrelated, well, related question, technically. 
What at what period in time does Seas of Sand take place? Does this take place after? Uh, after? Yes. Uh, so it takes place after. Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't set them in particular, er, like exact days, because that would complicate right. things incredibly. So I sort of set them within the same span of two to three years ish. The only one that is in a different timeline right now is Silver Song, who are five years. Before, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before well, we know it's slightly after because we saw them in the uh, in the fortune teller. Remember? It is. Yeah. It is indeed. Yes, yeah, slightly after is the general idea. I'm not going to give it any sort of time of year or um, no, no, <laughs> day, no. but it I is... I just wanted a vague, like, before Jay, or after. The for the time. most part, assume that if the campaign is sort of wrapped, then the events in the other campaigns are occurring after, unless I specifically say, like, Silver Song, that is taking place five years early. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's for very specific reasons that have not come up yet. Mm. Um, but yeah, so this is the general general after. Um, whether that's a, a month or a couple days, I won't specify, but uh, it's the general after. Uh, so uh, slightly dejected, the the young Minotaur uh, just says, "Yeah, all right. Well, if you're if you're packing up, then just call Steelhorns." Mm, Steelhorns. <laughs> He's such a nerd. <laughs> uh. He makes what a off, loser! Uh, I bet I bet his relative sucks too. Sort of towards the uh, eastern side of town, um, where you can see kind of a, a clump of houses that are um, not built into the side of the cliff, but are sort of freestanding. Uh, and so Leandro kind of leads you guys a little bit further into the oasis towards this uh, kind of shoreline that exists within it. Beach episode. What? So they, we already yeah. those. Are we all wearing bikinis now? Yeah. <laughs> I, bet that all kid all has a, I bet that kid has a stupid sister who's stupid. True. I feel like I'm you're just being gonna, I'm unnecessarily. Gonna I feel like you are being unnecessarily <laughs> aggressive right now. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Out of character. I just love doing the voice. It it's funny. Character, it's, so um, it's just fun doing the voice, and I know I'm defeating the purpose, but it's fun. <laughs> so I think that Lunetta has some unattended to anger. She's Scottish. <laughs> uh, I'm a so soft trauma. Leandra kind of pulls uh, Pancake off to the side um, of the uh, the path here in Cassano Oasis. Uh, at the very center of this kind of clearing in the rocks is that large kind of almost crystal blue uh, lake. And you can see kind of off to the east, if you were to travel along down this path, there's a very massive tree that kind of stretches over the entire area. Uh, far bigger than the palm trees that surround it. Um, and it sits kind of near these, these clumps of houses that are on the eastern side of the oasis. But if you were to travel along this path over here, towards the western side, that's where you can see these buildings that are kind of built into the the rocks themselves, now, as well as set up in front of them, a whole line of uh, market stalls. Uh, if you kind of squint a little bit on the very far side of this lake, you can see um, what appears to be another kind of um, uh, stall set up, though looks a little different than the others. You can kind of see some sort of creature fenced in on the opposite side of the, uh, the oasis. Uh, so imagine Kasana Oasis to be one large big donut, um, and you, to travel around, you just uh, go around the center of this lake. Uh, so you can choose to go left, you can choose to go right, but uh, Leandro turns towards the rest of you and says, uh, All right, well, I need to uh, offload my wares and uh, uh, do business here for a, a day or two. Uh, if you all have something to take care of, uh, please do so. Way to gang. Yeah, what do we have to do? <laughs> I will be in the in the markets if you need me. Oh, you know where he's going to be. Yeah, we know where Sets is going to. <laughs> the bar. Yeah. <laughs> that too. Leon that actually also. pipes up. Oh, well, there is a tavern in town, and he points oh, off let's... kind of beyond the markets. If you head to the western side of the oasis, beyond the markets, there's sort of this big um, cave in the side of the cliff and he points at that and says ah, there is actually a tavern in town oh uh, that's so cool i was planning on staying there and you all can join me mm. um that's oh probably... really <laughs> that means <laughs> oh really oh, really but uh, for today i need I to can't... offload my wares so i will be busy for the rest of today but uh 
Uh, I'm not sure what business you have to take care of, but uh, you should have the time. What business, though? Yeah, what do we... I mean, there's the thing with Elizabeth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could ask around, but and also... And Lynette I has a like... thing called taking a shower. Yeah, also... <laughs> oh, <laughs> general that. hygiene would probably be good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause he said he's gonna stay for like a couple days or like a day or two, so we could have more time to do stuff. Not. Okay. Uh, Awala kind of looks towards all of you and says, uh, "I would like to take a look around the markets uh, briefly." No, uh, that's she kinda, stupid. She uh, she wraps her scarf around her and shifts back. Don't the Tasha form that you know and says, I think perhaps a little bit safer to to walk around like this. Perhaps. I think that we should check out the market because markets are interesting. Maybe I don't have money, but it's fine. Um, I think that the idea of the market is fine. Uh, we should also find somewhere to stay. Uh, Elizabeth asks. That too. I am. My vote is. My vote more, is tavern. Still a few more hours in the day. I I'll head over to the tavern and you all can meet me there. Elizabeth, okay. I would also. Um, until we know more about who's looking for that thing, I would advise maybe keep it out of sight as much as possible. Mm, all right. She kind of tucks it away down into her shirt. Yeah, I won't. I won't ask anyone about it. Fantastic. Like, I'm gonna ask so many fucking people about this. <laughs> no. So they made the this direction. Uh, you guys can decide where you want to go. Uh, you have a little bit of time while Leandro sort of offloads his wares and uh, sell, tries to sell a little bit of it. So you do have time to take care of anything you want to do. Um, uh, Lunette, I know you wanted to talk with the merchant prince. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, but you have uh, a day or two to do so uh, while Leandro takes care of business. So wherever you guys want to head, feel free. Go ahead. This is where we go, guys. I kind of want to see what Leandro sells, cause like of we course know you do. Uh, no, <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Hear me out. Hear me out. Gay people, am I right? <laughs> Listen, like we know he's a perfume merchant, but like, what is okay. he selling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it secretly <laughs> drugs? He is literally. But a he wants to sell drugs. It's none of our business, by his own. <laughs> what I want, I kind of want to, I want to know. You want to do drugs? Yeah. That's also not yes. my Okay, so Cecilia so forfeits his vote of where to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys can split up. Uh, Ezekiel, don't don't feel like you need me. to go as a gang. I... The tavern was my vote, but I'm fine too. You know, I have, I do not Go about, right see the sights. I will either follow Lunette or Walla. So... Uh, well, Dude, I guess everybody's kind of heading the same way, so let's head over to the market district. <laughs> it's like, you know, that thing where you say... He's like, you're not literally ready. that thing where you say bye to someone and then start walking in the same direction. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I, that is the worst yeah. thing in the world. It's like, oh, I'll see you later, and then you both start walking, and you're like, um... Funny. Did funny you story. Park, I parked over here, too. Jeez. Alright. Wow, these maps are... Okay. For reference, these maps are are almost like a year old. Jesus! Oh my god! Wow! That's why they look so much different than the other ones. They're actually the old versions of all the assets. Oh, okay. I I went into some of them more recently, like about three-ish months ago, to um, update some of the lighting to make it look a little nicer. But um, they are actually all the old assets because I didn't want to make them from scratch. So that's why they, this kind oh of this God. place looks a little different than the other places because it's it's actually the old versions of the assets. That's how long I've had this this planned. <laughs> all right, uh, so you make your way off into the market uh, side of the oasis uh, with the waters lapping gently at the shore off to your right, uh, and several of these these market stalls all colored differently. They're they're at tents set up with these uh, shelves of merchandise sitting out in front of them. Uh, you can see Leandro kind of off to your left in the distance. He's he's found one of the empty stalls and has begun to kind of take things off the side of Pancake and uh, unpack into one of the uh, open, empty stalls. And further off down the road, you can see this large, open uh, part of the cliff what, that he had pointed at previously. Hmm. Huh.
is that thing all about? Uh, so guys, throwing so weapons your... looks suspicious. <laughs> Off to, your, uh, off to your left and right, you can see uh, a bunch of different merchants, all with the varied wares. Um, lots of sort of fruit merchants. Um, and you can see what appears to be some sort of potion seller off to your right. Um, a general store at some point, uh, just kind of selling a bunch of different items, as well as a weapons merchant. Uh, again, off to your right, appears to be some sort of dwarven gentleman. Um, and uh, a while that sort of gravitates towards the uh, the stall here that has herbs set up. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong copy. It's uh, Tasha. I forgot. <laughs> go on. There you go. Big you Tasha. can't let her secret out. Just accidentally. Uh, it's because you guys were copy pasted. Like, uh, so Tasha, <laughs> Tasha, I'm just going to keep calling her Awala because it's going to break my brain. You guys know who she is. Um, yeah. But uh, Awala makes her way over towards the, uh, the potion merchant off to your right. Um, and Elizabeth just kind of uh, takes a slower walk off down the thing, taking a peek at some of the wares, but mainly heading towards the large opening on the far side of town. Right, so you guys can do what you wish. Uh, I hate having this much choice. I know. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, ready? And then a uh, lightning bolt strikes, and all of a sudden there's 17 <laughs> monsters in front of you, and we're railroading you, oh, and all of a sudden... Oh, we have to no. leave town. We're going on a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if they get any seafood. Did you just say seafood? I wish. Squid? <laughs> I think we could all eat some squid. Some I would seafood. love some squid. <laughs> so, does so, Zulia so care? I'll just black. <laughs> so, he's well, not that I... Let's just make it easy. Let's go to the tavern. You indecisive fucks. Oh, what wow. the fuck? Aggressive! Jeez. Oh, <laughs> um... no, he's so mean. <laughs> oh my god, wait. <laughs> Thank you, that's a great idea. Oh my god, wait, you see? Tea? I hear tea? <laughs> that's a, uh... I, mm, okay. <laughs> Um, tea time! <laughs> is there a place other than the tavern to get tea? What was so sorry. funny? It's, it's sorry. It's fine. Is it? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm so confused. Me too, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so. so oh, no. No. Uh, <laughs> I don't explain think... all of it. But I don't think funny. we need the story. I think it's better just to leave it open. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I hope this is isn't related to the bunk bed chat. To go with tea. Is there a tea room around here? <laughs> uh, well, um, there is an herb merchant you could ask there, but you could also ask the general store or perhaps the uh, the dining establishment in the Oasis. Um. Oh, we dine. <laughs> we dine like the general. We dine. I'm good for tea. That sounds nice. Yeah, we don't have to get drunk immediately. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it's well, it's well <laughs> past something, something. it's well past midday, sort of arriving at uh, later afternoon. So no one would judge okay. you, but um, what is no social? I would. I, would I, I will us. judge you. I would judge us. I won't judge quite you. heavily. In fact. Well, maybe we should get something to eat first, and then get absolutely shit faced. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm Not the up. second part. <laughs> you don't drink, Luna. I like to keep my head clear. I'll enjoy wine sometimes, but I'm I'm not going to get wasted on it like mm. some animal. Uh huh. Get a load of this one. <laughs> All right. Uh, so with the the large rock formations keeping uh, some of the wind and dust out, um, and the palm trees and shadow of the rocks keeping the sun off of you. Um, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot better temperature-wise here, uh, so you're not uh, sweltering like you were out in the desert. But uh, where would you like to go? You can go as a group, or you can split up. I think we're dining first, right? Yeah. Dining. I think we're gonna get something to eat. Yeah. Very and well. Some tea. Uh, then you make your way out through the the market stalls and weave your way along the path towards uh, this large uh, cave entrance where you saw. 
um, Elizabeth make her way in. Yeah, so let me just copy the group of you. Um, as you get a little bit closer to it, uh, you can see kind of an old wooden sign that hangs uh, very gently swinging in uh, the gentle breeze of Kasano Oasis. Uh, that reads, The Carefree Camel. Oh, that's cute. Uh, and you make your way into this cave. Uh, it's a lot cooler inside uh, than it is out in the oasis. Uh, and you see off to your left and right uh, tables lined up along the rock. Uh, Elizabeth has made her way off into the tavern before you all, but you quickly approach up behind her. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, you can see a group of different people uh, all kind of sitting throughout the uh, tavern. Each all uh, hot. kind of doing their own thing. Oh, God. Um, on the far side, off to your left, is a bar uh, where you can see the, the barkeep behind uh, who's just kind of serving drinks to a woman who's sitting by herself uh, against the wall. Uh, what would you like to do? I go talk to the pretty lady. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which one? Um, um, oh, I... you're talking to me? Thank you. Yeah, oh, go talk gosh, to the Lynette. girl behind the counter. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sorry. Cool. I say things I don't mean sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, where are we sitting? <laughs> We're not going to sit at the table with the dirty... Oh, okay, um, I'm just going to walk over to this table. I'm going to pick up a chair. There's an open table right here! I know! I'm picking up a chair and I'm gonna bring it over here. For who? For Elizabeth! There are you five don't deserve us. A... Excuse me. <laughs> there are five of us, Cecilia! <laughs> And now there is a little makeshift chair here. <laughs> it's not it makeshift, it's just a it's chair. It's literally just a chair. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's makeshift in my heart. Oh, wait, I'm grabbing a seat. That's so true. Yes, I did. Yes. I meant Sorry. to pronounce it as ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I, I did. I yeah. Did yeah. Yeah, I used it the broad way. Fun of her. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. She'll All right, uh, see, there is a, a table open, um, kind of these old-looking wooden tables. Uh, they almost they look uh, they look hand carved, and you can see uh, in the center there's a small little clay pot uh, with a cactus in it, loving uh, as a uh, centerpiece of each of these tables. Uh, and so you guys all sit down, uh, dragging an extra chair over for Elizabeth. No and, dragon. Uh, that would be so rude. <laughs> and um, <laughs> what would you like to do? Um, we're gonna sit here and talk about our feelings, guys. Yeah. Oh, not <laughs> again. <laughs> Can we do the exact opposite, actually? Yes, please. Let's not make another scene. No. Remember the last yeah, time that we session, sat at the like, table? Negatively. Do you what? remember the last <laughs> time we sat at the table and talked about our feelings? Yeah. Maybe uh, we don't talk. No. It was good, but, um... Bad. Here to drink or here to eat? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> drink. <laughs> eat, please. Who said that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the hot old lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the, uh, you need the, help. The owner of the character <laughs> yeah. camel has sort of uh, snuck up on your table while you were owner. debating whether or not you should uh, <laughs> um, talk, talk about your feelings or not. Talk hot gills. <laughs> Uh, and so she kind of looked expectantly at you as uh, she asked uh, if you were here to eat or here to drink. Um, I guess we're here to eat. Apparently a little bit of both for these two. Uh, she glances around at you all and says, uh, Travelers, eh? Coming in a caravan? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, if you need a room to stay, we have beds downstairs. Basement. Oh. A basement? I yeah. the idea of yes, a basement. The, basement kind of is, the uh the lower level is far cooler than the upper floor here. It's uh, preferable for sleeping. 
heat rises, guys. Oh, no. We have baths as well <laughs> if you are weary from your travel. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh, we're staying here. Give <laughs> Leandro favor. <laughs> oh, um, I, I, can I can pay. I can pay. Oh, thank God. Okay. Elizabeth, you're such an angel. Um, yes, okay. so, um, well, after, after Father died, he did leave me a bit of money. Oh my God. Can she share? Bestie. <laughs> she is. She is literally sharing. Can she share more? <laughs> Can she give me <laughs> she's, her, she's gonna fucking rude. She's gonna cover your stay here. She's gonna buy beds for everybody. Nice. Um, but uh, if you guys want to order a bunch of food, that's on, or drinks, that's on you. <laughs> She's not oh, gonna cover my face. I just want soup. Is... You think they have soup in the desert? I want soup. Wait, do they have soup? I want soup. Thank you. You wouldn't Jesus. understand. Us mountain people, soup. we like soup. Today's special is fried scorpion. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'll take some of that. What else is there? Very you well. Uh, we also have. Uh, Garani omelet. Oh wait, I'm kind of into an omelet. Is that uh, it? You it's... can, you can purchase Garani omelet for the whole table if you wish. We cut it into slices. Hmm. Well, I want I mean... scorpion. So. Well, you, uh... can, you can add scorpion <laughs> to the omelet if you wish. Oh <gasps> yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. This poor, poor. Poor woman. What if Ezekiel <laughs> hates it and then like <laughs> Hold on. He throws it across yeah, the table. Sure, and let's do it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm late for the table. It's too cold. Okay. All right. Who's paying? <laughs> Didn't Elizabeth say? Sounds she like she's she paying for our bed. She just paid um, for bed for the entire for, Right. Um, who has the Oh, would gold? you look at that? I left my gold on pancake. No, you oh, didn't. No. no, you didn't. Oh, I'm out of gold. You have... No, you didn't. No, okay, you did not. so who has the most gold right now? I have 20. I have 16. They changed the gold. They changed the... the system. The was... icons for the... Oh, yeah. that's weird. They, they changed the icons for it. Did they? Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> They look like a the Android version of the icons. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Thank but you. you. Have Lunette, how much do you have? I have 16. Uh, none. I left it on pancake. No, you didn't. <laughs> Genuinely, You're how much gold do you have? Though? You're a disgusting uh, liar. 21. Okay. Ezekiel, how much money do you have? Uh, oh, I forgot I had holy water. <laughs> so nice for you. Do you guys take holy water? Or do, I take... do you guys take baptisms? It, it he dumps only, it in the bath. There's only two gold. Oh fuck it, whatever. I'll pay for it. <laughs> I give her two gold. Ah, uh, free food, the best kind. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. punch you. you. <laughs> uh, now, is there anything in particular you want in the omelet, uh, Garani? Omelette is uh, axe beak egg, usually filled with uh, onion, uh, cheese, and often scorpion bacon. Is there anything you I... want added? Uh, we can Jay, remove I thought the you bacon. Said orphan. <laughs> <laughs> I said orphan. No, no, I don't believe that I did. But um, <laughs> uh, we can we can remove the the scorpion bacon if uh, that is not to your taste. No, we won't. No, keep the scorpion. Yeah, I don't fine. care what the rest of you think. We're Very eating well. the scorpion. Very well. I will have it with you in uh, just a moment then. Anything to drink as well? What, we have, what uh, alcohol do you have? We have Dohara and Halapa as well. Uh, granny Classic. I'll get the Granny Classic. The granny Classic. Garani. <laughs> uh, not Granny. <laughs> uh, Zul, Zul Garan. Garani. That was so mean of you, Vabella. How could you? Yeah. Well, to be fair, to be I am not fair, that I old. Not... I am not no, that old. No, to be fair, I did not say it in the accent. I did not I say know, it in I'm the accent. I'm just teasing you. I'm just staying okay. perfectly in character as her just because it's fun. That's terrifying. <laughs> Jay is terrifying. Um, I am a lich. I will also take a granny classic. Uh, red wine? 
Uh, we do have some red wine if you wish. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, uh, those who said Garani Classic, uh, are you talking about the Dohara or the Halapa? Both are specialties. Can I get the Halapa? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Halapa. Halapa is uh, fruit brandy with spiced pepper. Uh, oh, Dohara. Yes. No, yeah, so good. Dohara is alcohol <laughs> distilled from cactus juice. <laughs> We're staying away from that. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Uh... <laughs> we are staying away from that. Ezekiel, I'll place turns into chickens again. <laughs> Starts sweating nervously. <laughs> well, what will it be then? I'll take some wine. <laughs> yeah, I'll I want to do the halapa. Alright, uh, any of you getting a drink uh, that'll be a silver piece? Okay, Ooh. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. That's expensive uh, as shit. Yeah, that's fine. Right, let me well, take okay, wait, uh, how do I... Fine wines, huh? I don't have any uh, silver, how do I... Yeah, hold on. You just, uh... Yeah, it doesn't automatically wait, convert on. it now. The minimum of each currency type is zero. What the fuck? Hold on, I converted annoying. my stuff. I've got it. It's a little annoying. You just, okay. you just have to... You have to remove a... Add 10 silver and then minus... That's yeah. so annoying. It's a little annoying. But it is what it is. It used to just convert it, didn't it? Oh, yes, it but uh, consider that also you used to just have to write it down on a piece of paper. So it is uh -huh. a little bit better than that. Uh, you used to have to do the math. Ugh. Writing things down. All right, I will have your, I will have your drinks and your, uh, your omelet with you in just a moment. Oh, nice. So excited. And she Mostly makes that. Halapa sounds so good. It sounds fun to say, too. It does. You guys uh, really don't travel at all. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I travel. I, I'm here all the time. Are talking in oh, world or out world? Because this, this is in world. world. This is in world. I have traveled plenty. I'm, I'm literally world. here in front of you. Of course I've traveled. Oh, I'm at big distances. Whatever. I guess, literally, yes. I was on a merchant ship, excuse you. Fuck you. I was really flipped wrong. As you, uh, you bicker about travel experience, um, <laughs> if you want, one of you can make a, uh, perception check to, yes. uh, check oh, wait, out the no. other people in the tavern, if you want. 22. 22? Oh, wait, shoot. Sorry. <laughs> Well, Luna, you're in a pretty good position to uh, to actually yeah. see everybody, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, as as you guys argue about uh, your travel experience, um, so you can see spread throughout the tavern, everybody's kind of at their own table; they're not really talking to each other. Um, uh, you can see uh, what appears to be an elven woman uh, with kind of almost platinum blonde hair uh, and tattoos actually down her shoulders and arms, uh, sitting by herself um, at the table here. Uh, the man here is just kind of very casually drinking by himself. Um, he wears kind of very standard desert garb, uh, but he doesn't actually particularly look Garani in origin. Not nearly tanned enough to live in this desert his entire life. Um, the woman at the far bar, um, you kind of, you can't really see her very well, but with a 22, um... You can see that, uh, though you can't see her face, she's kind of slumped over, uh, as if she is, uh, particularly depressed. <laughs> oh, no! Sounds real? like she's got a mission for us. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think she's just really drunk, guys. And, uh, just leave her alone. As you, as you glance around the tavern, you actually notice the trap door, um, off in the far right corner. It actually opens, and, uh, another person exits. Ah, uh, this person... Whoa. Dragonborn in origin, uh, with wow. some of these, these deep blue scales. Uh, appears to be rather old, and is uh, smoking a pipe as he makes his way up, and uh, just kind of oh casually. Oh my goodness. He seems, he seems so cool. I want to be him. Makes his way. Uh, through the tavern floor, past you all. Uh, doesn't really give any of you a glance, uh, and just makes his way out into the oasis. Soots is now aspiring to be that guy. You didn't see him. You didn't roll. Fuck you. <laughs> In spirit, he knows. 
Uh, and after waiting just a few moments, uh, the owner of the carefree camel makes her way back over with uh, your meal. She's got this large platter that she actually uh, moves the cactus out of the way in the center of the table to place this huge platter in front of you. It's been sliced into uh, a bunch of almost kind of uh, wedge sli shape slices like a pizza um, of this huge steaming omelet. And she says, I just, oh. I'll be right back with your drinks. Oh my goodness. Pizza omelet, eat it in slices. Oh no. Should have been a quiche, so you actually get get in like slices with a crust. It hurts me mentally. To <laughs> think about. And she returns just a moment later with uh, your drinks as well. And says, "Enjoy your meal." As she makes her way back towards the bar to uh, keep refilling the swan's glass. Oh, <laughs> she she depressed for real. Why is she so sad? It's because she has one eye. That would be sad too. That I would be that. a really good reason to be sad. I, think. I mean, a good reason, but that might not necessarily be it. I I'm not talk talking. Her. You should <laughs> talk so to valid. her. Yeah, oh. you should talk to her. No, no you should. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Um... You can uh, dig into your meal or do whatever else you wish. Uh, you've now got some uh, food on the table. Uh, far nicer food than what you've been eating over the past uh, journey across the desert. Uh, you've been eating mostly dried rations and, and water. So this is uh, a little bit nicer. What was that? It was like tack? Root tack, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a hard root-based bread. It's not Jeez. exactly uh, <laughs> the most appetizing meal. But now you have a uh, a massive omelet in front of you uh, that's been Carfing sliced up into, uh, into wedges. <laughs> just, right. just absolutely going ham on them. The, uh, <laughs> the scorpion within it uh, tastes sort of almost uh, a little bit saltier and a little sweeter than, than your usual bacon. Uh, it's almost like prosciutto. Mmm. Like a, I've never eaten that in real life. Yeah, it's been, I've it's, never had it's, it's been uh, sliced rather it's, thinly and, and fried as well. Yeah, it's good. I've been meaning to have <laughs> Lunette would definitely know what prosciutto <laughs> is in, in that character. I would, I would. She is a woman of taste. Indeed. <laughs> as you kick each other under the table and uh, enjoy your meal. <laughs> Um, who, who ordered the, uh, the halibut? Me and Sits, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did anyone order the doha? No. I don't, know. I don't no, think so. No, because they're cowards. I wasn't sure <laughs> if anyone ordered that, but... I... Didn't... Okay, wait. Did they have it at the, the other tavern back in... Yeah, they did. Didn't I... Didn't the Sutsu you try that? And it did not go well? The doha? I mean... Yeah, I think that I think yeah. that might have happened. Dohara is sort of uh, <laughs> this 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 local drink um, that uh, often whenever you order it and you look like an outlander, the locals will sort of uh, all kind of glance Laugh. towards you and, and wait because uh, <laughs> it's it's very very strong alcohol, and so when someone drinks it for the first time, they uh, they usually just cough it all back up. Uh, That's what happens. So everybody kind of everybody, everybody kind of looks over towards you expectantly when you drink it for the first time, waiting for you to cough it up. To see if you're an outlander or not. And that's uh, what happened. But you Halepa, really low. Halepa, on the <laughs> other hand, is not nearly as strong of an alcohol, but it does have a bit of a kick to it. Um, as It is a, a fruit brandy that is spiced with these spicy peppers. Um, so it does have a little bit of a, <laughs> a kick. Ow. Fucking bad. Damn also, everything going on in the chat right now is happening. In yeah. Canada. It's real. Speaking, it's real. <laughs> of, speaking of Garani cuisine... I have uh, updated a bunch of the World Anvil pages to include yes. um, cult <laughs> cultural cuisines of the different regions around Grand Lorien. Woo! Um, food, 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 So if you want to learn more about Garani omelets, Halapa, and Dohara, look at the Zulgaran page on the World Anvil. This is so awesome <laughs> feeling. I thought it would, uh, <laughs> I thought it would uh, add a little <laughs> segment there to, to bring that up since it was very, very relevant. I, literally, I can change the tab right now and look at it. <laughs> all right um so you enjoy your uh, your meal and your drinks uh nobody ordered dohara so nobody's making any cons <laughs> um 
next time my next drink will be that yeah same well if you want to uh, eventually when she sees that your drinks are kind of running low she'll the uh proprietor just makes her way back over to your uh table and asks uh, any more drinks or uh are you all good we have water uh, no, as well no, sure. oh, uh, <laughs> oh, actually, it, water baby. i want water Oops. i'm not i'm not involved in this <laughs> We oh no, this we also are. wants the, the Dohara. He wants the he are wants you the, ready he wants to make shit concave. Yes, SD. well it happened before and Two he glasses. made a fucking fool of himself. Two glasses of Dohara. Coming right up. Oh. And uh she busies herself back at the bar, eventually returning with your drinks. And she places two glasses. Who ordered it? Uh suits and Ball. Right. I also yeah. asked for some water. Uh, and she places your water there as well. Lunette making healthy decisions. Uh, no, well, not you, all of us are mentally okay. She gives you <laughs> your drinks and uh, makes her way back towards the the bar. Uh, so, anyone who's drinking Doha can make a uh, con save. Um, so, I'm gonna. So, you've drank it before, so I'm actually gonna give you um, an additional plus two to your con save. Oh, nice. guess what, baby? 18. Let's go! I got a six. Uh, a six or a sixteen? Uh, you cut out 16. a little bit. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. <laughs> that would have been so funny. Please. <laughs> All right. He's had it before, but he's still a little. He just. He just. He just he's passed out. Uh, is that a? Is that a sixteen with your with the it's bonus 16, I gave you? Yes. Okay. Um. So. Uh. Val Bella, you drink this down. It does burn a little bit, but you managed to kind of, um, not react to it. And so you drink it down as if it's uh just water. Uh, <laughs> though you do you do feel that burn down your throat. There's no stopping that. Uh, but you managed to have it not show on your face. I good. I am uh pro. Um, so it's you kind of casually drink it down too, much like Valbella, but right at the very end you just kinda <coughs> and then <laughs> and then swallow no. Just the slightest little bit of weakness at the very end. Are you okay? This is so sad. Was that your so Thulia punches Bob Bella from across the table. <laughs> Does he really? Yes. My feelings are a little hurt, but that is okay. Stop patronizing me. I'm not patronizing you. Lunette uses Mage Hand to tie Sutulu's shoelaces together. He no. <laughs> he wears Velcro. I ah. hope that this helps people. <laughs> Alright, um, let's actually take a quick little two minute break. Um, since we're okay. halfway through. Um, this is so, so mean today. Oh my goodness. I am. Uh, That's my character. He woke up and chose violence. We will, uh, we will BRB, everybody. Uh, just a little two minute break. Uh, so take care of what you need to do. Grab a snack, grab a drink, grab some Doha. Um, go to the bathroom, whatever you need to do. Maybe not. And uh, we will BRB in just a few, just, just uh, two or so minutes. And we'll return to what they get up to after they finish their meal. <laughs> Apparently, so it's just having a no break. I'm staying. I'm. I'm not getting up for no break. I'll be here, chat. Yeah. So just having I'm a bone just... stay, apparently. Also, Sits cast charm person on Aziki. Why? <laughs> Why? Wait, what does that do? Why? <laughs> um. So charm person, you attempt to charm a humanoid you can see within range. You must make a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage. If you or your companions oh, are fighting on. it. If it fails the saving throw, it is drowned by you until the spell ends. So, did you roll a 13? We end up starting a bar fight, but it's just the four of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> roll a five, maybe. It's soots, it's soots between all three of us. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just us kicking the shit out of soots. <laughs> the save is, the save is 13. Hey, so what if I'm it's, 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 ju what? it's just the one meme scene what from if it was a... What if it was a five? <laughs> so the, the, the spell says, The charmed creature regards you as friendly acquaintance. When the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. I think that is the funniest part about charm person. <laughs> yeah, it's the reason you cannot Ko get away with it. It's the reason yeah. Ko it's the reason Koja never used it once. <laughs> That's so I think funny. It's funny. Anyway, I cast charm person on the CQ. <laughs> Jay's not oh here. Oh my god, I love yep. but he's my favorite guy ever. <laughs> well then maybe I <laughs> Yes. 
<laughs> you're you're so right, King. <laughs> Should we go get tea? <laughs> yeah. Besties for life. <laughs> and there's like a little jump cut. Yeah, there's like a montage. <laughs> Guys, oh, I post. Okay. So you since know, Jay's not humor. Here, hold on, I can tell you guys. I can tell you guys the, oh, the no! story. I'm no, not, I'm not gonna say all of it. But oh, so, yeah, okay. so Ezekiel and I were out to tea in real life, and we were looking at each other oh, through no. this big like tray of like tea cakes, and we were like, "What if Ezekiel and Sits went out to tea, and <laughs> we're like." Really they hate each other. They were really the whole time. aggressive the whole time, and they were like, hey, "Would you like some sugar?" And like, dump the whole sugar container, <laughs> or like, "Here, would you like this quiche?" And they like throw it at each other or something. But it has to be like controlled and civil because like they're at the house. Nice who, throws, who throws a quiche? Come on! And no, 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 like, no. Lightly throws it. Like lightly. Like a little aggressive. Like, like, oh, like, do you want the no, tea? Oh, it at his head like, at full or, speed. Or they're like, oh, can I pour you some tea? But like, just a little bit of it gets on the tea saucer, so the bottom of the cup is wet, and you think about it every time. You set the yeah. Cup or they're like, do you wait, do you want the crumpet or the cake? And they're like, I want the cake, so they give them the crumpet instead, and they're like, oh my god, enjoy. <laughs> exactly. Right, that's, that's your service. <laughs> How long have you been back? The whole time I heard the whole thing. I heard I heard the words <laughs> Jay's not here. So that's how long I've been. You were running back. <laughs> oh no. You can see me oh, typing in chat about it. Yeah, I saw it right there. <laughs> well, I wanted to tell the tea story while we were I'm a divination worst. wizard, I'm always here. Uh whatever. Alright. So, that's not good. He pulls it up on his phone, I bet. No, I don't. <laughs> it just wasn't gone that long. <laughs> no, he pulls it up on his phone. He chugged that glass of Dahar. No, <laughs> um, He's got so, superpowers. Yeah. I'm a divination wizard. Alright, so, um, after uh, finishing your meal and your drinks, uh, what would you like to do next? Uh, I other... want to get more alcohol. <laughs> the other patrons in the bar are uh, still there. You can uh, continue to get Wait, drunk yeah. off into the night if you wish. Yes. Janet is here for the ride, but she's maybe. not drinking. I probably won't do whatever Sense is doing, probably. <laughs> I think. That I guess Lunette's the designated driver episode <laughs> right now. We haven't had a chance to get absolutely fucking blackout drunk yet. Yes, we now have. We have. Well, we haven't, though. That's the thing. Are, I mean, are we? Is this the session where are we? Yes. Okay. I'm chosen for us. Dude, yes. when the Dolhar is only a drink and she, uh, she, are they free refills? What's happening here? <laughs> Absolutely not. Or is Dolhar, a... no. <sighs> Water Do we want to get drunk here, though? What if I try to charm her into giving <laughs> such a <laughs> charm her into I am not casting charm person. <laughs> will kick us out. Free, free alcohol. Um, They'll kick so you out. Bit much. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, how much is it for each glass of Dohar? Uh, well, it, it depends on what you're trying to do. I'm not going to um, analyze the uh, exact <laughs> amount, but if you're going to um, if you're gonna get blackout drunk on, on Dohara, then uh, it would be probably at least another couple of uh, drinks, which were all a silver each. So I just remove uh, a gold from each of you if you're going to drink enough to blackout. Yes. Anyone who's doing <laughs> I that, am. just another gold. Me. <laughs> it's me. To pay for the rest yeah, of your no, drinks. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't trust myself, so I'm just gonna get water <laughs> from here on out. And nope. is not gonna. So it's just me. Okay, well, if it's just me, <laughs> he's still gonna do it. But like, Lun <laughs> Lunette shoots a forlorn look at Elizabeth. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say shotguns of four loco. <laughs> <laughs> Sutsuli who shotguns a four loco while looking increasingly sad. Uh, so, Sits, are you are you actually getting yes wasted on Doha? <laughs> yes. All right, it is a pretty potent potent alcohol. About halfway through, when you're uh, a little dizzy and um, starting to slur your speech even more than uh, the usual s's that you add to everything. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> you just sort of hear echoing in your head. Sutsuli, uh, are you're going to be all right. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Father. 
Yes. The, the, your friends are, are not drinking at, at all, are you? You're not going to be all right, you idiot. <laughs> are you making good choices, Susulia? <laughs> no. So, so are we trying to drink and drive? I love you. <laughs> you can hear me. The answer is no. I did not Do ask. someone tell the others that I can hear them? No. <laughs> Maybe? Can you cut <laughs> them all? I like, I like to think that um, even though... Um,